Phones in Communication Systems, a collection and displaying device for voicemail. So here we have a mobile phone, but this uh, actual scenario doesn't just apply to mobile phones, it also applies to the traditional phone as well, when talking about in conjunction with voicemail messages, but it is more common that we are using mobile phones these days, so I will stay specific to a mobile phone. So firstly, let's talk about the collecting side of things. So in relation to voicemail, a keypad is used to enter the receiver's number, which may be accessed via a touchscreen. When the user is diverted to the recipient's voicemail, they may leave a message through speaking into the microphone of the phone. The message is then stored in the recipient's voicemail inbox. Recipients then enter their PIN in order to access their inbox via the keypad. And then they can repeat, store and delete messages by pressing specific keypad numbers as per the prompts through the voicemail software. Okay, so we've got two sides of that. We've got the person ringing up and calling the person and missing their call and leaving their voicemail message. And then we've got the person who is the recipient of that message accessing their voicemail inbox in order to retrieve their voicemail data. So let's have a look at the collection devices on the phone first. So firstly is the keypad, which is available on a touchscreen on a mobile phone. Okay, so that will come up. Okay, and then we press those appropriate keypad numbers to dial into our voicemail inbox as well as press the numbers of the prompts that we're being told in order to repeat messages, play next message or delete a message. The other collecting device is the microphone. Okay, and the microphone is used obviously by the person who has called the other person in order to leave their message. They speak into the microphone and that records the audio data which is then stored in the voicemail inbox. We then are going to move on to the displaying sides of things. So in displaying in voicemail is primarily conducted through the speaker of the phone in which the prompts are given by the voicemail software for the users to enter their PIN and then manage their voicemail messages. So they're hearing the actual system say this to them through the speaker. Okay, and then as well, hearing the actual messages that have been left for them. Prompts may also be displayed via the touchscreen monitors in the case of mobile phones. So as said there, it's all mainly coming through the speaker. Okay, the voicemail software speaks to the user, press one to hear that message again, press two to store that message for later use, press three to delete it for later use. Okay, and then the other displaying device is the touchscreen once again. Okay, so as we can see here, the touchscreen on a mobile phone acts as both a collecting and displaying device. Okay, the actual monitor side of it being the displaying, okay, and the touch component being the collecting device. So I hope this video has given you an understanding of voicemail in general, but also how the, in voicemail the mobile phone is used as both a collecting and displaying device for completing the voicemail prompts, okay, and getting and accessing your voicemail messages through the software.